Today here at Robert's Guitar Dungeon, we're checking out the Thunderclap Distortion from Ogre.
Uh, okay, uh, not a bad little pedal. To be honest, there's really not a whole lot I can say about it that I haven't said about the other two Ogre pedals that I have demoed out of the same series. Uh, as far as the design itself, it's a little gimmicky. You know, I'm not, that's, that's my honest opinion. You know, as far as building a pedal board, you know, putting this thing on a pedal board, you know, uh, I mean, I think it would be okay. The one thing that the other two Ogre pedals I've demoed have that this one does not have, the other two, the helmet, for lack of a better description, will actually flip up and that's where the knobs and the, the controls are housed. Uh, this one doesn't have that option. This one, the horns are the knobs. You know, you turn them, and that's that's how you get your adjustments. So, yeah, whereas the uh, and the tongue is the foot switch, so to speak. So, you know, Ogre is a Korean company. So, uh, that said, I think they are very solidly built. I think they sound good. They use good components on the inside, and. You know, not a whole lot else you could say about them, really. You know, I mean, they're obviously designed to attract people that, uh, you know, like me, that may have an interest in, uh, you know, sci-fi and fantasy and, you know, things, you know, things like that. I like this kind of stuff. So, you know, I guess my biggest concern with practicality of this pedal is I don't know how roadworthy it would be. Uh, I think securing this thing, for me anyway, because I like to use zip ties instead of Velcro, securing this thing down to a pedal board, uh, would be, I think this one, it'd be a lot easier on this one than it would be on the other two. You know, with the other two, unless I just don't plan on ever adjusting the settings on those pedals again. You know, there's really no way to zip tie those down. Uh, this one, I can at least see a path where I can make that happen. But, I don't know, I like it. I think it's I think it's a cool pedal. I will admit, I have other distortion pedals I probably like a little bit better. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, this one is, you know, tone-wise, I think it's pretty cool and it's a little bit more well-rounded. It's not a metal distortion, so uh, it's going to be able to cater to lots of different genres besides just those folks. So, so there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below, as well as the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. By hitting both of those buttons combined, you will receive... Regular alerts of when I upload videos every weekend or every week to my channel, uh, which occurs on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any experience with these pedals, uh, or if you don't have any experience, or you know, let me, or whatever your thoughts might be. Uh, I'd certainly love to hear it. And last but not least, links to all of the gear used in this video will be down in the description. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. You know what, there are tons of young people out there that want to get involved in music and do not have the means to do so. If you are watching this video, most likely you're a musician and many experienced musicians have tons of broken and unwanted gear lying around that they're not doing anything with. Please visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook at the link below and learn how you and your unwanted gear can help change somebody's life.